so it's raining in Pokhara right now. I don't know what I will do uh, with regard to trekking in the Himalayas. For now, I will stay put. There is no other. getting some coffee. What else to do when it's raining? And it's been raining since yesterday, so no trekking even a remotely possible and visibility is very very low I cannot even see the mountains and the hills around the town and that's my coffee with milk so while I'm enjoying my cup of joe other people have to work Rain took a break and I will take a walk in the neighborhood. And I am more and more in the residential neighborhood. And the rain is starting to fall down again. Namaste. No, thank you. I don't think I need a haircut today. can see one bed, everything in one room, toilet probably somewhere outside. Not an easy life for many people in Nepal. Advertising or accident? I kind of think the first one because behind that is a third eye workshop some hardware store or something yeah I think this is it this is an advertisement well and if I haven't mentioned it you probably noticed people drive on the left in Nepal smart pharmacy what is in the name why is it smart Raju bullet surgery wow motorcycle surgery I guess that's an interesting fence or a gate. If this is Taro, unfortunately I haven't seen it in the stores. It's kind of off season, I was told. But I like Taro. It's a starchy kind of um, taste. It has, it tastes like a potato to some degree and it grows in tropical, maybe subtropical countries as well. Needs a lot of water. It's a papaya tree and fruit up close. Very, very cool. Not ripe yet. Maybe you could make a green papaya salad from it, but that's about it. If you like a ripe fruit, you gotta wait. Good morning, Pokhara. This is like day three of my stay here and the rain is not letting up actually it's getting worse and worse on day one when I arrived I could see mountains a little bit in the distance but now I cannot even see the hills around all is in the mist in the fog and the rain is persistent it has been raining for two days with uh, an hour here, an hour there, break, but that's about it. So there is not really much to do here. The main reason why people come here is the mountains, the trekking in the mountains. And this is absolutely not the weather where you want to go trekking, no way. And here is a kind of an interesting thing about the local flights as opposed to local flights in Europe or in the US or elsewhere. Those flights are usually pretty short and uh, airplanes don't have a restroom, bathroom, toilet. So you just keep your legs crossed and hope that you will land soon if 
you have a need to go. This is the view from the front door of my hotel. Hotels, 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 everywhere you look, all those tall buildings are hotels. I hope that the visitors will come because, because local businesses definitely can use the help. Right now everything is mostly empty. I know that in the pre-pandemic times many people came but it still kind of makes me wonder if all those hotels can stay alive. It's definitely, definitely the competition is good for visitors because the prices are very low. You can find probably as low as $10 a night room here and I am paying 20 and it's like middle of the road. And this is Lakeside Street, Pokhara. Everything, everything for the tourists is available here. Equipment, clothes, shoes, what have you. And as the sun sets down, it's a, it turned out into a beautiful afternoon. Unfortunately, that is not enough to plan for a trek. And as you can see, there are some foreign visitors here, but not many. Most of the bars are empty, restaurants are empty, hotels, I would say, at 10% capacity. You can see just uh, how much stuff, how much this is geared towards tourists, either shops or hotels or travel agencies. And that's about it. There's nothing wrong with it, it's just that the town completely depends on tourists. And they took a pretty hard hit during the pandemic, that's quite obvious. This is the time to be in Pokhara if you don't care about the mountains. Everything is almost empty, low competition. I believe the prices that are normally reasonable are even more reasonable now. Very nice tankas and pictures. Oh wow, what's going on here? Ladies gathered together. And here is a big tree, but probably no significance. Say Max! Smile! Leather goods. Oh wow. You were vegetarian. Not bad, but I can live with a little meat. The old Lan Hua Chinese restaurant and bar. Yeah, it does look Chinese. You see the signs, all the hotels here in this direction. Unbelievable. How many? So I think this will be it for today. Thank you for watching. I hope you liked it. Take care. Bye.